Hey there, I'm Sophia Arnold. I'm at the Northeast Film Festival tonight, joined by... Joseph Bell. All right, Joseph, super nice to meet you. Now, I heard that you just won a very special award. Can you tell us what the award is, what the film is, and, and what your role was on the film? Yes, so the award was for Best Actor in a Short, and I played Desmond, a reporter, in a uh, short film about eugenics. Um, and uh, yeah, that, it was a uh, it was a wonderful film, something that was new and experimental. And uh, I'm just I'm honored to have won this this award and, and be recognized for it. Uh, I feel like I missed a part of that question. So oh okay, yeah, I was yeah 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 I was asking uh, what the film was, what the name of the film is, just yes. so people can. yes Fenwick Fenwick is the name of the film. Incredible Fenwick. So what was your journey uh, into learning more about this role, uh, developing the role, and bringing it to life? Since you obviously did an incredible job. Yes yeah so. Uh, when Rachel Thomas Medwid uh, approached me about the role, I had previously worked with her on uh, two other projects, and we've been working together for about four years now. And uh, she showed me the script, and I, I read it. It's very she writes very interesting stuff, like dark uh, psychological horror thriller kind of concepts. And so this really enabled me to kind of jump outside the typical range and experiment. Uh, I played a reporter in 1970s, and um, a part of the role. I had to play uh, someone who was intoxicated or drugged in a way. Spoiler alert. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, that really was fun to play around with. And de developing the character further on, um, it was it was interesting trying to kind of grasp that time frame. I wish I had a little more time to kind of understand uh, what the dictation of uh, those in the 1970s, 60s, kind of, I wish I understood how they spoke a little bit more and could have brought a little more to my character. However, I really just tried to embody uh, this, this reporter, this um, uh, going in and trying to do this uh, creepy, kind of ominous uh, news article about this, this uh, doctor. And it, I just, it, it was something I'd never, never done before. And um, I think I, I think I delivered it okay, relatively. I think you must have delivered it pretty well, and congratulations on the award. It sounds like you mentioned that you had worked with Rachel for many years, um, and so there was, I'm guessing, kind of a collaborative aspect um, of that relationship and your role. Um, what would you say um, was your favorite part about collaborating with her and bringing the role to life? Mm, the freedom that she allows me to have on set. I mean, Rachel is so, so fun to work with, and she really just, like, as a director, uh, she kind of takes a seat back for the actors, and she'll pull you aside if needed, and she really just allows you to kind of embody your own character, and, and when she doesn't like something, she'll kindly, kindly kind of talk to you about it, but she really allows every actor in her project to really have freedom to explore, which I really appreciate. Um, and so I gotta stop saying um. <laughs> and so I really appreciate that about working with her. So I've ha I've always had a blast working with her, and I hopefully we have many more projects to to come. So absolutely, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without her. Yeah. Well, clearly you've had the freedom to do an incredible job on this piece. Congratulations again, and thank you so much uh, for chatting with me. Thank you.